Welcome back to this new Peter Express. Today, let's turn your Google Forms into a payment powered host. We'll show you how to easily add payment options, whether you are collecting fees, donations, or sell simple products. So to get started, first of all, you might want or you might be wondering why adding payment options is important into Google Forms. Well, basically, adding payment options to the Google Forms can provide a convenient way to responding to pay directly with the form. Uh, can help you of course to streamline the collection processes, can help you to be bursado for collection events, fees, donations, membership and so much more. Now there is a few limitations of direct integration because it's important to note that Google Forms does not have built in direct payment processing. So we'll be using add-ons to achieve this functionality. So with this being said, let's use the payable forms add-on. So Payable Forms is a popular add-on to seamlessly integrate with uh, payment processors like PayPal and Stripe. So first of all, I'm going to open my Google Forms. Just listen to Google, uh, just type Google Forms or just go into docs.google.com fast forward slash forms. Now inside here, I have now opened my Google Forms. Let's click into the three vertical dots directly into the contact information that you have generated. For example, an order request. So here is an actual form that we could generate it. And we have, for example, the payment method, we have payment method in here and so much more. So I'm going to go all my way on. And once again, once we are inside the order, in this case, my uh, form, we have to, it is opened. Let's go for more. Let's go for the option that says get add ons. Into add ons, search for playable forms. So just type here, search applications. I'm going to go for payable forms. Here I have the payable forms and I select it. Once you have selected, just go for the option that says install. This should be asking you to make sure that we are inside the Google account in order to let them have access to it. So read all of this. If you're okay with this, then hit into allow. Once you have hit it into allow, we can now start by enable the payments for your form. So we can follow the add-on instructions to set up your instructions to connect to my Stripe or my PayPal account. So in this case, let's go for the option that says get started. I go for my default language, my country, and my currency. Then it's gonna be asking us to getting started. And here we have the detailed video overview. I close my window and now let's get started with configuring my form and the sheets. Now here into the right section, we have now the Form Plus add-on. The Form Plus is another robust add-on to support various payment gateways. In this case, I see the connected Google Sheets. This Google Sheets is an actual document that can help me to collect the information of the one that's going to be giving me the payment elements. So for example, here I have the time stamp, the email address. Uh, we are an existing customer, the item I would like to order, the color, product options, and much more. So I can head back into my order form. Now here, you can see that we have the payment method. Then I'm going to sync them with my checkout. Let's create an actual checkout into my order form, or in this case, into my Google. This is the preview of how it actually going to be looking my checkout. I would request this order is in test mode, of course, and you can see that automatically this is the amount, this is the country, the full name, the email, some test cards, just to make sure we can use them. So for example, let's say that I wanted to try with this one. And this is the actual receipt that the uh, customer will be receiving. And we can head back into my order forms. And of course, you might be seeing that we have now the payment provider uh, being connected. Before we have uh, enabled this, of course, it's going to be really important to to connect my payment provider. Let's try with Stripe. Now inside Stripe, I wanted to connect my Stripe account so I can receive my money here, hit into connect, and there we go. Now I'm gonna close this window. We have now my Stripe account connected. And lastly, add a sample payment section into my order form. As you can see here is my sample order element. For example, the sample of a subscription, the sample of a checkbook field, the sample of a drop-down menu, uh, and the checkbook red options. For example, how much would you like to pay? In this case, for example, let's say that I try with a sample of a subscription monthly. 
So I choose this monthly package. Now this form should be payable. So that means that I can collect money from this specific form. When I en enable this form, what I can do now is to try my form. So I'm going to hit all my way down. And let's say that I wanted to pay for a sample of a subscription as a monthly package plan. When I hit into subscribe, I can have my order details. Let's say that I close this. I enter just a quick email. Let's say, for example, this one. And I type t-shirt. Color number one. And here I'm going to go for submit. Now it tells me use the link below to continue. So when I clicked in here, this should be sending me into the checkout generated by payable forms based on all the information that I have been using with the Google Forms. It's going to be creating an actual check form for myself. In this case, here's my order details and this is the monthly package that I chose. And all of this should be sending directly into my actual uh, Stripe because we have now generated that element. And well, there you have it, guys. There you have it, guys. A really easily method of how we can actually add payment options to Google Forms. This opens a lot of possibilities for collecting fees and payments easily. So explore the add-ons mentioned and choose the one that best suits your needs. If you find this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Sexpressed. If you have any questions about adding payments to Google Forms, you can let us know in the comments below. Thank you once again for watching this video and hopefully we can all see you next time.